just find out who done this to to her and just keep your head up and just be strong for her. She don't want you to be sad. Well, that is just one example of shock and disbelief from friends and neighbors of 61-year-old Ursula Brown. She's one of the latest victims of violence here in Baltimore. She was found murdered inside her apartment this week. And people in the city tonight, they're wondering if or when this is ever going to end. WJZ is live in that neighborhood for you tonight. Christina Mendez speaking with those who knew her. And Christina, they really just can't believe this is happening. Hey, Nicole, while well, the city of Baltimore is creeping closer towards averaging a murder a day, Ursula Brown was the 100th victim in the city. And people I spoke with, her friends, her neighbors, are really having a hard time wrapping their head around who could have done this to someone so kind. Caught me off guard. I had to sit down. I was shocked. And I was definitely. I was hurt. I'm still hurt behind her because she's a good lady. Three different Northwest Baltimore neighbors all echoing the same concerns about losing one of their own, 61-year-old Ursula Brown. I don't know why somebody would do that to her. She was a loving person. On Monday night, it looks like they have a 60-year-old female not conscious, not breathing. Police found the victim dead inside her Montverde apartment unit with multiple signs of trauma. Murder right there on the same floor. She lived right down the hall from us. Brown's murder marks the 100th homicide in the city this year. Overnight, the number continues to tick up, now standing at 102 lives lost. There's no attention at home, and then they come on the street and get all the love they want, and it goes from there. The law changes now. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott is pledging to help break the cycle of violence while in office. $10 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding will go toward expanding its intervention ecosystem. Part of that is strengthening the Safe Streets program after a review found it lacked oversight and half the workers say their training was inadequate. What we have to continue to do is evolve in the way that we're dealing with and holding people accountable. So far, no one has been arrested in this case. So if you have any information about Ursula Brown's murder or any of the other unsolved cases here in Baltimore City, please give police a call. I'm reporting live from Baltimore. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.